Hello, today we'll be doing operations with negative numbers. So before we start, I thought a definition would be helpful. A negative number is any number that falls below zero on the number line. So this would mean any number in this range. Zero is, keep in mind though, is not a negative number. Zero is not positive or negative, so it's not included. But any of these numbers are negative because they are falling below zero on the number line. So the first start of today's lesson is addition with negative numbers. So to add negative numbers, you would just add them as you normally would. So you would do one plus three equals four. And you would put a negative sign in front of it. So the answer would be negative four. So try these questions on your own and then we will go over them after I give you a few moments. So pause this video now and try these questions on your own. Okay, so now that you've had enough time to answer these questions, we will go over them. So you wanna add regularly, so it would be seven plus nine, and you put a negative sign in front of it. So it would be seven plus nine equals 16, and you would put a negative sign in front of it. So the answer is negative 16. The next one, eight plus three is 11. Put a negative sign in front of it, negative 11. Six plus 14 is 20. Put a negative sign in front of it, negative 20. And that is how you add with negative numbers. Here's a quick rule for you to remember how, when you're adding two negatives together. Always a negative plus a negative equals a negative. So for subtraction, it's a bit different because there's no set rule for subtraction. For subtraction of a negative number, you will usually have um, two negatives next to each other like this. Two negatives next to each other becomes a positive number. So negative six minus negative 10 would just become negative six plus 10. And do you see, since it is negative six plus 10, it's a negative number plus a positive number, which we have not learned yet. But in simplest terms, if you just use the commutative property, which you learned um, earlier in the years, it would just be switch around the number. So it would be 10, because the positive would be smaller here. And then it would be minus six. And what's 10 minus six? Four. So the answer would be four. For subtraction, there's no set rule. You can't tell exactly um, how it is always going to work of negative numbers, but you can use this trick to help you a lot of times. So now I give you the opportunity to try these three questions on your own. Um, take some time to pause the video now, try these questions, and when you come back, we will go over them. So for this one, it would be negative seven, and then the negative eight will become positive because it's a negative and a negative. So it'd be negative seven plus eight. Using the commutative property, eight minus seven is one. So the answer is one. Same thing here, negative nine, it would become plus 15, 15 minus nine equals six. So the answer is six. Here, it would become plus 20, 20 minus 13 is seven. So it would become, the answer would be seven. So, for the next thing that we're gonna be doing is multiplication. Multiplication will work because it's also the same thing as addition. You have two negatives which equal a positive. That's like the same rule as addition, just with a multiplication sign now. 
So you'd always know that this would be positive because you have two negatives. And then you just do five times 10, which gives you 50. So the answer to negative five times negative 10 is 50. So try these few practice problems on your own. And when you come back, we will go over them. Pause the video now to try them on your own. Okay, now that you've tried them, you do the same thing here. It would, you know it would be positive. Eight times five, which is 40. So the answer is 40. Four times five, 20. The answer is positive 20. You don't need to have the positive sign in front, but you can if you want to reinforce yourself. Three times six, 18, positive 18. And that is how you multiply negative numbers. So the last operation we're going to be doing is division. Division works because it is the same rule as multiplication and addition. When you divide two negative numbers by each other, you get a positive number, negative two, negative four. So you would do negative four divided by negative two, you would just put a positive sign in front. Put a positive sign right there. And then it would be four divided by two, which is two. So the answer is positive two. Now I'm gonna give you a few practice problems to try on your own. Okay, so now you can use these practice problems for yourself and try them out. Pause the video now and try the practice problems. Okay, so now that you've had enough time to try these problems, we will go over them. So, first one, you do 18 divided by six. So you know that two negatives divided by each other gets you a positive. So you get positive and then you get positive three because 18 divided by six is three. So the answer is three. For this one, 14 divided by seven is two. The answer is positive two because two negatives divided by each other. This one is a bit trickier. Two divided by three is a fraction, so it would be two over three. The same rule would apply, positive two over three, because two negatives divided by each other. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful, and good luck on your future math endeavors.